Let's talk about Snowflake and Databricks. And let's quickly compare these two leading platforms. And I'm going to talk about both the pros and the cons of using each platform. And I'm going to also share some insights from what users of these platforms are saying. First of all, you may have a mixed opinion about even comparing Databricks and Snowflake. And many say, and they're partially right, that comparing the two is like comparing apples to oranges. And the reason is that Databricks is in the end an end-to-end -end data engineering and uh, AI platform, while Snowflake is primarily a cloud-based uh, data warehouse. So comparing these two platforms may, makes very little sense, as if you're more engineering focused, you're going to likely prefer Databricks because you'll have a wider range of options, you know, for handling big data, machine learning, and uh, AI workloads. On the other hand, if you're more analytics focused, you're going to prefer the simplicity of Snowflake because it's easier to set up and run and pretty much maintain in the long run. Having said this, let's get an overview of Databricks and Snowflake. And Databricks is an end-to-end -end data engineering and AI platform, as I, as I mentioned earlier, right? And it allows us to analyze uh, our data, build, deploy, and put our machine learning models into production. On the other hand, Snowflake is a cloud-based data warehouse, you know, and they focus on providing scalable and easy-to-use storage and analytics solutions. Let's start with Databricks, and let's talk about the pros and the cons. Databricks is a really comprehensive data platform. We can all agree to that, right? And it caters to a wide range of data requirements, and that includes storage, analysis, and AI workloads. And it's an all-in-one solution, you know, for BI, for data warehousing, data engineering, data streaming, data science, machine learning, and so on. Okay, it's a, there's a lot of use cases that you can cover with, uh, with Databricks. Now, the cons here is that it's more complex to set up, and it's a lot more complex to configure if we compare it to Snowflake. So you got to keep in mind that there's a steeper learning curve. Now, Snowflake, on the other hand, it's known for its simplicity, right? And it's easy to set up, and you can start your data analysis workloads relatively quickly. And it has a lot of integrations, and its functionality can be extended. And overall, we have to agree that it's great for, uh, for data warehousing. And because of the simplicity, right, specifically because of the simplicity, we have some cons as well. And the first one is that it doesn't provide direct support for all our machine learning use cases. Then it's also not best suited for streaming use cases. And third, you may have performance issues when dealing with large data sets. Now, look, having said this, both Databricks and Snowflake have their own strengths and weaknesses. And I believe we can all agree to that. You know? And the, the choice in the end between the two uh, depends a lot on your company's specific use cases and, of course, on the desired outcomes that you, that, that you want. Okay? And it's essential right, to consider factors such as, for example, ease of use, performance, cost, and, of course, the capabilities that you need from your data processing and analytics workloads. Now, if we speak about cost specifically, this is also a relatively touchy subject as well, because when it comes to comparing the two, both communities have different things to say, okay? Because Snowflake users really like to point out that Databricks has quote-unquote uh, hidden costs because of all of these associated cloud provider fees and the setup costs that, uh, that, that you incur from these cloud providers. And on the other hand, Databricks users like to point out that Snowflake has higher costs for processing the data. So with all of these in mind, right, you can understand that uh, different communities have, var have various biases. And in the end, I think we can still draw a conclusion here. And I really hope that we can all agree to this. Because Snowflake is better suited for core data warehouse and BI use cases, okay? While Databricks supports a wider range of use cases, right? Then we have data warehousing and BI, and then we have data engineering, data science, machine learning, and AI. So once you have a clear use case, Let's say you think about a proper use case. Then you can make a conscious decision and then you can weigh in factors like ease of use. And again, as I was mentioning, performance, cost, and the capabilities that you need. And before you make the choice, also please consider scalability as well, because it's not just about what you need right now, it's what you're gonna need in the future. Because if your use case evolves, let's say your use case evolves, right? And I think it will evolve. You don't wanna be locked in into a solution that cannot really scale.